the end of the day in the privacy of the voting booth, do you think you'd... I mean... Right, like this room is the privacy right. of well, the voting booth. I mean, booth. But, 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 but for... So at the end of the day, in the privacy of the voting booth, as a black woman, mm -hmm. do, doesn't this, no matter what, wouldn't it feel like a historic opportunity for you? I think I'd have to weigh it very carefully. Uh, I think I'd have to see how Giuliani, if he were to get the general, which is a big if, as we all know, yeah. uh, I'd have to see how well he performs. I mean, yeah. up to this point, he actually has not been the dazzling candidate that I expected. Uh, that he hasn't been the Giuliani on David Letterman, who's funny, who's yeah, self-effacing. Yeah, yeah, he's down in Florida sunbathing, I guess. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about a couple of other things. Um, okay. Oprah has just uh, announced her own television network. She's a force of nature. It's yeah. And, uh, uh, now, Oprah is Obama's, and I guess Tyra Banks has, is Hillary's. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, black conduit. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> What can Tyra do for Hillary? I just didn't quite understand how Tyra compared to going to Have Oprah. Have you seen Tyra's show? Because uh, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand yeah. it now. Um, and, uh, I think her appeal tends to be around, uh, for teenage girls, mm -hmm. if you look at Tyra's show. So, yeah, so maybe we're not teenage. even old enough to vote. <laughs> maybe middle-aged men who you know, want to be around teenage yeah, girls. I, I just thought that was an interesting <laughs> choice. You know, Barack can go to Oprah, so I'm going to go to Tyra and achieve the same thing. And I don't think you achieve quite... No, the same I don't thing. think Tyra and Oprah are on the same sort of plane. <clears throat> Do you see Oprah's network as an opportunity for you? Gosh, I just saw it in the paper today, so I haven't given it any thought. No, oh, give it a thought. <laughs> give it a thought. You had your moment, you know, there in the in the in that kind of uh, pop art media spotlight, being on the View, and I just you you've got to tell me or all of us what it was like be, sitting between Rosie O'Donnell. And Barbara Walters, how what what was that like? Oh, it was fabulous. It was so much fun. And contrary to people, like I get asked this a lot too. Rosie was really nice to me, very very nice. Uh, she did not go after me politically at all. She was actually really supportive in asking me questions. And the View, I don't know if uh, you all watch that. Uh, it's kind of it's more of a women's chit chat, talk about your personal life mm -hmm. sort of show which was very novel and fun for I me. I imagine so. Oprah will have her version pretty fast Yeah, <laughs> for her network. I mean, because it gets huge ratings. It does. It may be relegated as a woman's show, but it's been a blockbuster hit and, it's and been a huge moneymaker. Yeah. But yeah. How, did, how, did you, how did you get procured? And then when you got there, how did you get well, to be booked? <laughs> booked That's to be well, <laughs> yeah. no, but, but book, booked <laughs> and then prepped. I mean, what were you told beforehand about how to deal with these people? Um, well, uh, Bill Getty, the executive producer of the show, I guess had seen me on you know, CNN and political mm -hmm. television and said, you know, hey, we'd really like to have you on. They, were having, they had an empty seat that had a rota rotating guest, mm -hmm. so they were always looking for a new person. And I did an interview. and You were going to be the new Star Jones. Oh, gosh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, no, I like Star. Um, and so I was in his office, and the interview was, are you willing to talk about your personal life? Because that's what this show is all about. Mm -hmm. And not all about, but we want someone who can open up and who's relatable and so forth. And I said, well, I think I can do that. And he's like, okay, so who are you dating? And, oh. <laughs> and did you I, answer? Well, I wasn't dating anyone, so oh, that, was, <laughs> that was okay. easy enough. Um, so when I did go on the show, I told a story about how I'd gone on J-Date and it was a big disaster. Oh, <laughs> and the audience really liked it. And actually, I still get recognized for that as the girl who was on J-Date. I don't even know what J-Date is. Uh, it's a dating website for Jewish people. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> what lonely, dark, empty night was that, Amy? <laughs> well, as you know, Carol, I have a long history of dating the Jewish people. Okay. And <laughs> but I didn't know you were resorting to websites. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, was, it was a dark moment in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but it was an OK date? No, it was a disaster. disaster. Like, okay. So I go on J Day and I did, you know, I gave my real age, which I was told later was a big mistake because everyone because inflates you're so their young. age. <laughs> so, like, the person looking at it would think that I was, you know, 10 years older than I am. Um, I really, and, that must be a Jewish thing. And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, anyway, so I, like, only got 13 people who clicked on my profile. I mean, it was kind of a mistake to post a picture of me in front of my family's Christmas tree. I do recognize that. <laughs> but, <laughs> Wait, I, I actually did do that. It was really stupid. And, <laughs> and the only person who um, sent me an email was this 
26-year-old pervert from Rockville, Maryland who wanted to have internet sex. <laughs> so you didn't even go on the date, I hope. No, okay. no, 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 no. And I was like, all the nice Jewish men in the entire, like, diaspora from, you know, like, Tel Aviv You could have London. just gone to Temple, you know? I mean, you didn't have to go to... Now, do you still do internet dating? <laughs> no. Okay, so that... But I did, I, yeah, but I did end up with a Jewish guy, but not from J-Date. Not from oh, J-Date. Yeah. Was that the most personal thing you had to reveal on TV? during your stints with The View? I think that's fairly Didn't get like, any, okay, mortifying. good. Mortifying. <laughs> and, uh, and Barbara and Rosie off camera, was it, was it sort of like Hillary um, and Barack off camera? Or was uh, it? it was highly uh, just professional. Uh, another thing that was really surprising is just how focused they are on like, you know, doing their job. So during the breaks, Rosie goes into the audience, she warms up the audience, she tells jokes. And Barbara doesn't. Uh, well, Barbara's <laughs> talking to Joy on the side. Um, no, I, don't, I don't see Barbara being a stand-up comic. Yeah, no, I don't either. <laughs> uh, but that how much of it was just, it looks like easy chit-chat, but a lot goes into it. You see that from behind the scenes. I've, I've heard that about David Letterman's show as well, a friend of mine who worked there, that when he has those kind of like funny little asides, He's been working on those all day yeah. long. Unlike our show where we just said hi in the bathroom. <laughs> right. <laughs> this humor is spontaneous. <laughs> well, you've been a great guest, and um, our time is up, but uh, we'll be looking for You're going to be on CNN all through the whole I am. campaign. Watch CNN. Are you going to be going to the primary states or just pretty much doing it from here? I'm doing a lot from here and mm -hmm. New York. Uh, next week, I'm probably going to go to Florida. Um, I'm also doing a bit of work for Bill Maher's show on mm -hmm. HBO oh, great. called Real Time, so yeah, yeah. check that show out as well. And, um, really uh, and then we'll figure your demographic out as we, as we go along. Yeah, I, on his show I'm hoping to attract like young men. Young men, yes. okay. And good luck with whoever the new beau is. <laughs> Thank is you. He, is he Jewish? He is. And you yeah. didn't meet him online? But he was never a bar mitzvah. Okay, so, well, she shared quite a lot of personal information there, and we're very grateful. Thank but thank you, you Amy. Thank you, everyone. See you next week. Thank you. Thank you.